Hey you guys, I'm Certified Nutrition Consultant Catherine with Foods That Heal You and Foods That Heal You CBD. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the lymphatic system. And I'm kind of gonna cover four different areas starting from different symptoms to help you identify if you have a clogged lymphatic system. I'm gonna talk about how the lymphatic system works in kind of simple terms. And then I'm gonna talk about uh, how did you get here? How did you end up with a clogged lymphatic system? Where did everything go wrong? What's the root cause here? And then lastly, the consequences of having clogged lymphatic system. Now, before we get started here, below this video, I will have links to my foodsthathealyou.com and foodsthathealyoucbd.com, as well as a link to my blog post, 20 Ways to Drain Your Lymph, okay? So let's go ahead and get started here. The first one's gonna be symptoms. This is going to help you identify. So basically symptoms are the body's way of saying, hey, there's a problem here. Pay attention. Something's not working right. The symptoms are not the root cause, okay? But the symptoms are going to be things like swelling, swelling in the ankles, puffiness in the face, water retention, fatigue, skin breakouts, feeling tired all the time, getting sick a lot, sore throat, Pretty much, you can pretty much guarantee that if you have any diagnosed health condition, disease, sickness, whatever, the lymphatic system is going to be involved because it's the immune system. So no matter what you have, these are just really common symptoms that might tell you, hey, things are really bad in the lymphatic system. We need to, we need to do something here, okay? So this is just some common, and I have some common in my blog post as well to help you identify what might be going on. So there's more involved than just the lymphatic system, but the lymphatic system is a huge system in the body that's responsible for a lot of these symptoms. Okay, so the second thing is going to be how does the lymphatic system work? So the way the lymphatic system works is kind of a, I kind of break it down into three steps. The lymphatic system is kind of like the sewage system in your body. So the first thing is you have cells, over 100 trillion cells in your body. And they take in nutrients and then they, then, then they eliminate waste, toxins. So those toxins and waste are eliminated from the cell into the blood, into the lymphatic system. So step one is the cells, they, re, they eliminate the toxic waste into the bloodstream, which that's step two, which is the, where the lymphatic system plays a part. And the lymphatic system is going to filter out those toxins into tiny lymph nodes. So you have lymph nodes all over your body. Your lymphatic system is all over your entire body. And I like to use the analogy of the, the lymph nodes as tiny little toilets that collect the trash that the, that the cells eliminated. So the, the cells dumped trash into the bloodstream. These tiny little toilets are going to capture it in the lymphatic system. That's step two. And then when you flush those tiny toilets by, quote, draining the lymph, you flush those tiny toilets, and then they're going to eliminate that toxic waste or the waste out of the colon, kidney, lungs, and uh, skin. Okay, that's how it's gonna escape from the body. So it's kind of the three-step phase. So what you want is you wanna have a clean lymphatic system that's functioning properly so that that waste cannot get stuck and stagnant in phase two. You want it to get to step three where the colon and the kidneys can eliminate it. Now, one mistake people make is they try to cleanse the lymphatic system and they don't take care of step three, which is opening up the channels of elimination for the toxic waste. So for example, if I have a five lane highway and exit ramps and the five lane highway is jammed up and those cars need to exit, think of the lymphatic system as your highway, okay? Those, th those cars need to get off the highway and let's say the exit ramps are jammed. Well, no matter what you do, if you try to get the cars off the highway, if those exit ramps are, ramps are jammed up, those cars aren't going to go anywhere. And that's a lot of times what happens with the lymphatic system, the exit ramps, the colon, the kidney, the, the lungs, the skin, they're jammed up too. So you're trying to clean your lymph and it's just coming right back. It's not going out. So there's a process, a correct way to do this. And we'll go into that in later videos of how you can put this all together. But I just want to throw that out there so that you don't dive into some juice fast or water fast because that can actually be dangerous you have to do this correctly for it to be safe and effect and be effective okay otherwise you're just kind of going in circles and getting frustrated so the second oh the second thing i just covered that so the third thing is going to be why how did this happen how did my lymphatic system get clogged up at the end it, it really boils down to accumulated toxic waste in the body that's actually the root cause and, and what happens is over time, we accumulate waste from poor diet, processed foods, chemicals in our foods, 
herbicides, pesticides, even even air pollution. Uh, there's a really simple tip I heard recently for the air filter in your house. I mean, you think you breathe all this stuff in. Make sure you're changing your air filter and using something like Monofoil Clean on your air filter. And I probably should put a link below this video on that as well because you're gonna be like, what is that? But it's a, it's a natural antibacterial. It's so safe that you could literally drink the stuff. But you put it on your air filter and it, and it helps clean the air by destroying those bacteria or whatever. So basically we're inundated with toxins and it's impossible to avoid the toxins is what I'm really getting at. And unless you have a perfect diet, lifestyle, perfect air and everything, I mean, I know I, as much as I eat healthy, I, I screw up too. I mean, I, I eat junk food now and then too. And I can tell you that when I was a kid, I ate a lot of junk food. So that stuff accumulates in your body over time. And if you never cleanse your system, your entire system, including your organs, not just your lymphatic system, you gotta cleanse your entire system. If you never cleanse your entire system, that accumulated waste, eventually the trash just overflows. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, you're like, why do I feel so bad? It's because your trash cans are overflowing. They can only hold so much trash. Your body can only hold so much toxic waste before finally it overflows and the body says, whoa, <laughs> we're overflowed here. Okay, so that's, how, that's basically the root cause then the consequences can be very serious. And, and I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I know this whiteboard is kind of hard to read. I will have PDF for those of you who signed up to my uh, series on this. All right, so consequences. They can be very serious. You can even get cancer from clogged lymphatic system. And it, not just lymphoma, but all you know, anytime you have something in your body that's the, a disease, a sickness, your lymphatic system, like I said, is not functioning properly. It can be very serious. And bacteria, if you think about your, your lymphatic system, like I said, as a sewage system or as, as even a river, think of it as a river of life, right? You want it clean. If it's dirty like a, like a swamp, then viruses, bugs, bacteria, candida, um, all kinds of parasites, all kinds of terrible stuff can make, that can make you very sick. It's an environment in your body for those to thrive you know, viruses to thrive, bacteria to thrive. So you want to clean up the environment in your body so that those things can't survive. And it's more to it than just an alkaline diet. You gotta cleanse your system, cleanse your body. And, and acidosis, I mean, when you have a clogged lymphatic system or have any kind of disease or you have acidosis in your body, that's not balanced. And things like extreme Diets, high protein diets, that's very mucus forming and clogging. Dairy, very mucus forming and clogging. So extreme diets are going to contribute to the, this problem of a clogged lymphatic system. It's not, it, 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 and inflammation. So all these different things. So the consequences, you, you know, are, are very serious. You can be very sick, chronic disease, chronic conditions can pop up here and there. And it can happen all of a sudden. That's why I wanna bring that up too. When I mentioned the trash can overflowing, you might think, well, I'm so healthy. And then all of a sudden you start getting sick all the time or all of a sudden you have cancer or all of a sudden, it really wasn't all of a sudden. It wasn't that last Twinkie that made you sick. It was the accumulation over time. Okay, so hopefully, okay, so I went through these four things. Hopefully those are helpful. In the next videos, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna uh, give you tips in the next video on how to drain your lymph. And then after that, I'm gonna help you put it all together. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Again, check out the links below the video and I'll see you in the next one.